tonight is game night. And what are we having for dinner? Pizza. Pizza for dinner. So I thought I would make pizza with you guys. So the trick to pizza in our family is our favorite crust recipe, which I'll link below, from my friend Lisa. Homemade cheese, simple ingredients, and um, just a second. And high temp baking. This pizza dough recipe has become my absolute favorite. You don't need to make it ahead of time. Just quickly mix it up right before you plan to make your pizzas, and that's all the rest time it needs. Super simple, no mixer needed, and it makes the best thin crust pizza ever. You can do it thicker if you prefer a thicker pizza, but we love that thin crust, high temperature pizza. This is a pack of smoked pork jowl that we had done from our pigs, the butcher did up, and they smoke it just like they would a bacon or ham. And smoked pork jowl is money in the bank, guys. It's like having a chunk of bacon bits. I don't find that it works out well slicing it and frying it like bacon, but if you slice it and then you dice it small and then pan fry it on kind of like medium low temperature, you don't want a high temperature, it fries up just like good bacon bits. So it's perfect for a pizza night. I don't have to use our very prized, um, oh Rowan, our prized belly bacon for pizza night. I can use this smoked pork jar and it's just a small little chunk and it makes the most delicious pizza. This small chunk did three medium sized pizzas for us and I could have done a fourth even. These were loaded with bacon. Our favorite unconventional pizza topping is sliced potatoes. And this is gonna sound weird, but let me show you in a bit how we use those. These were cooked in the Instant Pot. They could be leftover baked potatoes or boiled potatoes. The point is to use cooked potatoes. Now this is my homemade mozzarella. Instead of forming it into balls after I make it, I just put it into a rectangular or square container and I find this makes it a little easier for grating it. Ideally this cheese should have sat in the fridge for a day or two covered in this container but I just made it earlier today so it was a little harder to grate but still well worth it. Just one quarter of that container of cheese was enough to do the three pizzas. Homemade mozzarella goes a lot farther than store-bought mozzarella. This batch of cheese used four gallons of skim milk. So I had just skimmed by hand the cream off of the top so I could make butter and sour cream and then use the skim milk to make the mozzarella. Then afterwards, the whey from the mozzarella got fed to the pigs. So that one thing, that one bucket of milk, became three different things. Four different things if you count the fact that now that whey is making bacon. Now I'm a little ahead on my dinner prep, which is where I like to be. So it's Sunday night and that means we have a snack and play some games of sorts. Um, Mac and I are making popcorn. There's some homemade butter there melting and we're gonna eat popcorn and play card games. That smoked pork jowl just looks excellent. The trick is now to keep the husband out of snacking on that. Can we play Metro Parrot Track? Maybe.
to make popcorn shap family style for every half cup of dry kernels, unpopped kernels, so this was one cup altogether, we do a quarter cup of butter. Yes, this is a half cup of butter on this big bowl of popcorn. Mo fat, mo better. So today we are adding nutritional yeast, which if you've never tried, it can be an unusual flavor. It's kind of cheesy. It's really high in B vitamins. It's really good for you. It can be an acquired taste though. My kids love it on popcorn. Good healthy dose of that. Just get that all on there. I'd say a third of a cup I used. Now some good salt and then dried dill is something we love to put with our nutritional yeast. The dill I probably added a couple teaspoons worth and the salt is to taste. Stir it all around and serve it up to your hungry crowd. This pork jowl is just about done. Take it off the heat before it really looks quite done. Oh, that husband, see, I told you there, he sneaks in there, he's gotta pick it out, even though it's screaming hot. Can I not have this pizza? Salsa is the sauce? Over to you. No, but I thought it sounded interesting and I don't have an open thing of tomato sauce in the fridge, but an open thing of salsa. Mm. Mom, I know you have that one. I'll pick up. Hey, Fred, you can quit your wine. Are you done playing games or what? Me and Mama are still going to play it, but Kevin, he's done doing dinner. What was that it then? What was it now? Can I have some oh, of the meat? I think you're hoping you'll go play with some. Can I have some taste the meat? One piece. Hello. Of course they're open. Mmm, yum, yum, yum! Good. Put it. Go in there anyway, you just like me not wanting them to go in there. Can they put the potatoes? No, 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 Frank. I don't know when the basement came in. Where? Where else would you put it? I don't know, it just doesn't work in here. Maybe in an upstairs. Yeah. I'll link you to a more in-depth recipe of our pierogi pizza, but this is a very simple variation on it. It's simply heavy cream on the crust. The recipe normally calls for sour cream, but I didn't have that. And then I layer the sliced potatoes on that I was telling you, you about I'm earlier. Just so what are we doing is making pizza. Me and Mama are making pizza, but Mama's not making it right now. Mom, can I put on the salt? Um, let's put on bacon first. Can I put on bacon? Yeah. Should you spread it out nice? We spread it out nice. A um, bit more cheese. On the edges. 
Okay, now salt. Can I do the salt? Yeah. You pinch it and spray. This side over here needs salt. Okay, now can you put bacon on this pizza? Make sure it's spread out all over the pizza so that everybody gets some on their piece. Right? Okay. Okay, so put it over here too. Over here. Hey kid, make sure everybody's pieces will get bacon. Say it louder. Chef Jeff has done his pizzas. Go Chef Jeff. Go Chef Jeff, but he's killing my pizza. Should we cook him now? Killing my pizza. Chef Jeff has some yummy pizza. Can I put the pizza? No, we're putting them up for a second. Put them in there. What you doing down there, Rowan?